Thin places are mystical places, sacred places. They're places where the veil between this world and the eternal world is thin. The other world seems more near. Now, these places were thin long before uh, the Christians started building churches on them. The pre-Christian people, they marked them in their own way. They knew they were special. Some think there's an energy about thin places. It just makes them special. Creativity really thrives in these places. You know, many artists will admit that in certain places in Ireland, especially, uh, their own creative juices flow. Creativity thrives. You know, W.B. Yeats and John Millington Singe, they both wrote about that. That there was something in the Irish landscape that helped them get out of their own way. It made their writing more real. I don't necessarily believe that God is more real in thin places or more present. And I, I think God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God doesn't change. It's we that change in these places. Thin places enable us to feel more deeply, to see things in a very real way. In a sense, we hear better. We connect better. There's something about walking a cloister walk where monks walked and prayed in the same space centuries earlier that just calls out for connection. Every time I go to Ireland, I come back with two things. One is I've learned something. Usually, I've learned how to cope with a worry or make a decision. Something spiritual, something internal, I will have resolved each time I go. And the other thing is I always come home with a yearning to go back. There's something about the Irish landscape, especially in the West, that just calls you to return. There's some kind of magnetic pull. I don't really understand it, but I keep going back. <laughs>